celebrating Tony's speech. He talked about the history of communications and how communications has in fact become much faster in the last few years. And I certainly remember the first computer I used was ZX81. It's a very, very slow and nowadays we have computers in our uh, smartphones that are much more powerful. So communication has become very fast. He also used humour. He talked about the new one of the new Samsung phones that has a problem with catching fire. It's been on the news, and I know in my office we're not even allowed to have that particular model of phone to bring it into the, the building. And also he used some risque humour when he talked about, he was comparing buying a car to have it, finding a girlfriend. Can you question about body parts? Can you question about performance prior <laughs> before you buy that kind of thing? It's a little bit risque, but I, I think that was um, humorous. And he talked about the power of the uh, modern gadgetry. I believe the modern mobile phone, if I'm not mistaken, it, it was as powerful as the, um, the spacecraft for the moon landing. That's incredible, isn't it, to, to think in that way. Now, regarding the... Um, recommendations, I think Tony could have moved around the stage a little bit more. I think Sinner was a very good example of how he moved around when uh, giving the, the speech. And by having maybe the podium a little bit, rather than having it in front, because when I was sitting I couldn't see um, Tony that well, and I couldn't see his body uh, hand movements, but just having the podium a little bit ajar means that hopefully most of the audience can then uh, see you. So that's a very simple thing that perhaps you might want to consider. Uh, you also had uh, a clock, but the clock was a paper version. I didn't think there was any harm in actually having a proper clock to, to use as a prop. It would have been a bit more steadier and authentic. And you made a little bit of a joke about the Donald Trump, and that's okay. But bearing in mind there might be American people in the audience, and 50% of the Americans voted for Donald Trump, so you might alienate members of the uh, audience if, if such a joke is made, which is good, perhaps. It's just something to consider. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you were talking about uh, texting. Uh, that was very interesting information about men wanting to pass on information, and females are interested in more on the relationship side. I myself uh, use a lot of emails, emailing people all around the world, so I have to use email to create good relationships with people around the world. You talked about dating and grammar, although I think some of the apps also you can get a dictionary app, so people can also become better uh, with their uh, words as well through the modern technology. And uh, then you mentioned about electronics and how sometimes it distracts from the body language which we use. I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much.